Chips. Like, what else was he watching? <laughs> chips. <laughs> Those, those old fled, timey channels. He fled the country and me. just brought his chips DVD box set. Nice. <laughs> nice. Me TV. Is Me TV a national thing? I don't know. That's a good question. I just killed the chat with that question. I just killed the <laughs> conversation. And what I, did you say? I didn't even hear you. Is Me TV a national thing? Oh. Uh, I, I, I assume everyone has like that weird channel 24.1 where they play weird. Uh, Zach Fraud says, Jack, last week I was on stage with Weezer. Oh. And then I celebrated later with a Stiegel Rodler. That sounds like a hell of an evening, sir. What? Ouch. Why were you on stage with Weezer? Are are you Weezer? Alright, Randy Quaid. <laughs> my most memorable birthday was when a stripper puked on my pants. It was an accident. I'm not some weirdo who pays for stripper vomit. And then there's 15 tweets about chips. Randy Quaid is brilliant. Okay, now read all the read all the chips posts. Do you want me to? I you they're know what? Yes. They're not like yeah, interesting. The no. people are on the internet. They can look them up. Well, I want to hear one. I'm not on the internet. Of course, Poncha's apartment has no furniture except a bed. That makes what? sense. What? Apparently, Poncha's apartment just has a bed. Was no he a, was he a a ladies' man? John impresses the ladies on the yacht by speaking French. See, these are just what the he's fuck? just tweeting about the show. Where's the weird ones? There's too many chips tweets. That's okay. Hmm? I can't find them. <laughs> I mean, I appreciate There's both of those. There's too many chips tweets. <laughs> Has he's anyone ever said chips. that? There's well, too many. They, they just no. did. I, yeah, I suppose. Oh, we, oh, oh, this is sad. No better way to spend my birthday than watching Ponch dazzle us with his disco moves on chips. Oh, oh my God. when was his birthday? Um. Uh, October first. Oh. Oh. Well, happy birthday, Randy Quinn. The the Commodore. Oh. Just subscribed. Good night. Thank you. My friend in Greece. Good night. Oh, so 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 <laughs> so, so, so Good night. Randy Quaid. People who ride unicycles are total douchebags. <laughs> Says Randy <laughs> Quaid. You heard it, Randy Quaid. Jesus Christ. I think that one's supposed to be funny. <laughs> I just read something that was fun. <laughs> <laughs> Anyone ever get Randy Quaid and Pierce Brosnan mixed up? That no. made me laugh. <laughs> no. Coleslaw is a very underrated salad. <laughs> <laughs> That's Randy Quaid, not me. Uh, more. What? Give us more. Give us more. I gotta, I gotta scroll past all the chips ones to find the good ones. Jo Josh Vince, I keep reading that attempt at a joke, and it's too dark. It's too, it's too, uh, it's too dark. Oh yeah, oh no. It's, you know what that is? That's, that's what happens when, uh, when Zack Snyder directs a, uh, uh, why do I keep forgetting his name? Dick... Neutral. Dick How neutral. can you forget? If Zack Snyder directed a Dick Neutral movie, that's something he would say. So it's too dark. Coleslaw does sound like a badass action hero. I would see Coleslaw in a movie fighting. The end. You did a one? What? I'm talking to not you guys. <laughs> <laughs> Ninety percent of his Twitter is about chips. That's great. Read us another one. Just pick one. This is a random one. Um, Ponch got a ticket while on a date in his Winnebago and had to go drive go to driving school, so he wore a disguise. Hashtag chips. He's just describing things that happen on the show. Now, what time is it? All different times of the day it's that all, he's posting these. All different times. Yeah. That's. So weird. he's just he's just. I swear it, it has chips. to be. He, he fled with his box set. Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. Oh, no. 
That's not one of them, is it? Are you reading what? this? What are you laughing at? I'm totally not Bruce Wayne. That's what I'm laughing no, at. No, but look who the, who the quote's I know, by. I know, I <laughs> know. That's funny. Because I think that was like a, a dick neutral setup, but it was yeah. actually Randy Quaid. Yeah. <laughs> Go ahead, read it to Jay. She walked up to me and said, nice pants. Can I test the zipper? I gave her my pants, farted, then walked away. Randy Quaid. <laughs> Quaid. What a what a weird man. Randy Quaid and the premature senior moment. <laughs> oh, that poor guy. Um I, I don't know if you would be know. interested in hearing Red Letter Media's thoughts on a Zach Braff movie. No. Ugh. Yeah. That's my summation of Zach Braff. Ugh. You know what? I don't like his face. I was just thinking that same thing. I look at him and I'm like, nope, you're not someone that I want to be friends with. You kind of want to do this. Yeah, you just want to, just want to punch him. Here's, here's, if I were to give Garden State a, <laughs> a one sound review, it would be, There's, um, <laughs> there's a couple things I like in Garden State. It's so full of itself, though, yes. but there's some of the stuff with, between the father and son that, when it strips away all the quirkiness, yeah. it's just them talking, and that stuff's okay, but... And ugh. it makes me want to puke. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. oh no, 90% of it yeah. makes me want to absolutely barf. Oh, yeah, hey, more like Zach Barf, am I right? You ah, are right. Ah, nice! Absolutely. Yeah. Nice, Mr. Awesome. Um... Yes, pretentious is a very good descripting wor uh, describing word for Zach Braff. Yeah. Because he wore a shirt that looks exactly <laughs> like the wall. Yeah. Because he feels like he doesn't stand out enough. Yeah. Do you get the visual metaphor? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's one of those things where you can tell he came up with that visual in his head and yeah. then was like, how do I work this into the movie? Yeah. And so it didn't uh, happen uh, naturally throughout the course of it. It was just, because it's like, he's at, what is he at? His mom's, uh, he's at his house after his mom's funeral. What the fuck? It's like fuck? his aunt or something says that she made him a shirt using leftover material from what she decorated the bathroom with. Yeah. But you don't use, like, cloth material like that to decorate a bathroom. It makes no sense. All right. It's fine. It's just, I want to put this image in the movie. Exactly. Yeah, fuck that. Hey, Baby Slayer 156 thanks for subscribing. Also, the random capitalization of your name makes it slightly hard to read. And that is all. Yeah, is that a code... No, you know what? I liked um, I liked a lot of Scrubs. I think there's a lot of good jokes mm. in Scrubs. Not me. I never really watched it. Yeah. I'm, a, I'm in general a fan of the sitcoms, and okay. I think there's a lot of good jokes in there. But any any time that show tried to go for, like, the heart, yeah. and Zach Braff made that stupid face, <laughs> I, I just kind of zoned out for his, a second. His sincere face, which looks like the most insincere thing ever. Yes. Yeah. But I, th I do think there are a lot of good jokes in Scrubs. Okay. I, I haven't seen nearly enough to be able to comment. Yeah. Rich's what the fucks are so consistent. I'm not sure if they're sound clips or live. Oh, that is a sound clip. Uh, there's no there's no attempted fakery there. That's just what plays now when yes. somebody subscribes. Every time someone subscribes, you get that little thank you message with Rich and I's face. And Rich will say, and we've recorded a special Rich saying, what the fuck? That will play every single time someone subscribes. <laughs> Which amuses me. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. Who's, who is the most annoying Zack in cinema? Is there, there are, what other Zach? What other Zach? I mean, sure there's there like Zach out Oh, you know, oh, you know oh, yeah. Zach Snyder? Ooh. Yeah. I find Zach Snyder to be more annoying than Zach Braff. Because while Zach Braff is pretentious, he. Every, everyone kind of just knows that about him and accepts that. Whereas Zach Snyder seems more like a douchebag. I think, but which is worse? I think Zach Braff is probably a nice guy in real life. Whereas okay. I think Zack Snyder might be a douchebag. Yeah, okay. I can get behind that. Also, I don't believe Zack Snyder 
has had any original idea ever. <laughs> and what? No, I'm, he did. It was called Sucker Punch. That was completely his idea. That movie. That whole concept was his. That's terrible. And it's terrible. No. Oh. I didn't even see it. It's awful. Well then. That was a really early half of the bag episode, but yeah, that movie sucked. <laughs> I like the person that said Dax Shepard. As being. Z Zack Snyder does not damage beloved. Oh, well, he he damaged one beloved franchise, but you know things like I think he did a fine job for Three Hundred, and he did never a, saw Three Hundred. He did an okay thing for The Watchmen, but every striking visual in that is directly from the comic books. Sure. Uh, and so I, I I have a hard time understanding what he did as a director. What vision did he bring to it besides? Make the thing that's on the paper on the movie. <laughs> and yes, DC is really banking on Zack Snyder being a thing. Yeah. It's so desperate. It's like we, he did that one movie that was a hit, so now we have to do that over and over and over again. And we have to immediately jump into trying to rip off the Avengers. And, and they you know, say We that can't spend years and years building a universe. We just have to immediately throw everybody into the next Superman movie. They've already tagged him for, like, Justice League movies and whatnot. Yeah. 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 Ugh. I, di I dislike him as a director. Yeah. So I say he's worse than Zack Braff. Okay. <clears throat> Three hundred is schlock, but I don't know if it's horrible schlock, because that was before the three hundred style was a thing. At least three hundred had style. Yeah. And now it's ubiquitous, but back then it wasn't. And you're right, Mr. Awesome. Doctor Manhattan's penis was the best part of the Watchmen. <laughs> but I really hated that movie. Yeah. Because. It's nowhere near as amazing as the comics. So that's what everybody says that's read the comics. I've never read the comics, and I thought the movie was fine. Why would you... <laughs> fine. Why, why would you think it would be? Would be what? As good as the comics. How, how often are adaptations as good as the source material? Oh, very... Not, not very, but you know what? I, I liked... I liked... Because uh, he did 300 right before that, right? And I, I liked his action... And so seeing some action, seeing his, what I thought oh, shit, was I his style. Oh, in here. I didn't even know it. Oh, my God. Seeing what I thought Thank was God his I had audio style uh, applied to The Watchmen, what I was a little excited about. Just just terribly, terribly disappointed with all the stuff they had to cut. There's so much more. Yeah. What so, the fuck? Yeah, I've heard a lot about it. Yeah, but. Yeah. Uh -huh. I watched the movie just as its own thing, and I thought it was fine. Yeah. Whenever anyone talks about, um... Um, comic books? No. <laughs> I thought you were going to say, whenever, whenever anybody talks about comic books, no. I want to barf. No. <laughs> That's whenever, what I thought you were going to whenever say. Whenever anyone talks about the, the movie The 300, yeah. I always think about that joke in Party Down, where uh, I think it's Ryan Hansen's character asks everyone to write down on a piece of paper how many times they've seen the movie The 300, and then uh, everyone shows theirs, and then... Martin Starr, his, you know, because they're always going back and forth. Yeah. Martin Starr, uh, I think his was like six, and so he called him a homo. <laughs> it was funny. It was fu <laughs> it's, it's a good joke. It's a good joke. I don't remember that. Yeah. Well, you've seen Part Down. Oh, yeah, I like that show, but I yeah. don't remember that. But I appreciate you telling me that it has a good joke. Yeah. It has, it has lots, lots of, of good jokes. jokes. Oh, oh, my God. Jinx. Oh, you hey. Tadow. <laughs> what? Yo, me, a Coke. Uh, Tay Dow just subscribed. Thank you for subscribing. We super appreciate it. I had to wait to thank you so Jesse could tell us about a joke from a show. <laughs> so we have our priority straight. Yes. Yes. I have not uh, avenged Eleventyfold. Ask me if I've seen the super duper extended edition of Watchmen where they put in a whole bunch of shit from the comic. No, because I don't care. I just, you know what I did? I read the comics again. <laughs> After seeing the movie, I just read the comics again and felt great about it. Yeah. Every time I read that, I notice shit I didn't notice before. What the yeah. fuck? Yeah. Oh, Elvis Delvis. You never replied back to my email where I made a really good joke about Jack being a liar. And that, that was upsetting to me because I, I worked that out pretty well. 
What? 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 Oh, because he said that you said that you would bring up um, Rich Evans' baby face t-shirts. Absolutely. And bobbleheads. And I said that you never told me about that and that you are a filthy liar. (laughs) (laughs) Which is the truth. You never did. I absolutely told you about that. No, you didn't. Was I I asleep? You might... (laughs) You might have been a little oh, whiny. That doesn't happen. <laughs> I don't recall a time when that's ever happened. So Elvis tell us, I you, you know what? I might not have told Jesse. I might have. No, I told. I we were we were he, we were here. What was I? Was I doing something else? You might have been doing something. I don't. I I definitely told you. I you know what? I should have. I should have reminded you, because mm-hmm. I, thinking back on it, you might have been busy or drunk. <laughs> um, or busy, most li- most likely busy. I'm usually busy. Uh, hey, Jfan86. Oh, thank you for subscribing. <laughs> we really appreciate it. <laughs> yeah, Jack, your alibi is falling apart. Yeah. It is. Thank you. <laughs> I can see the sweat forming on your brow. Yeah. yeah. I'm f- I'm pretty sure I told Jesse. No, uh, I guess I might not have. It doesn't. I matter. remember everything. Hey, we're talking about it now. <laughs> no, only after I brought it up. <laughs> <laughs> do, 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 do. <laughs> That's fine. Yeah. I'm working on it. Yeah. <laughs> oh no, busy or drunk? The Jesse story. No, <laughs> that's terrible. <laughs> that's not the that. <laughs> That's not. No. <laughs> They want you to buy hacking. Here's what I'm thinking. I know they want me to buy hacking. They want you to buy hacking. Here's, here's what I'm thinking, though. Okay. I've got three fucking ion weapons. <laughs> I see that. I'm taking down shields left and right, right? Yeah, yeah. I take down shields, buy drone control, get this fucking beam weapon, and while their shield's down, that thing's just continually blasting the fuck out of the mothership. I'm, I'm actually, right now, I'm actually deciding between that or hacking. Oh, someone is saying drone control? Uh, that's actually a really tough call. I know it is. That's a really tough call. Uh, I think with with Ion and Beam Drone, you can take them down quicker. Hacking means they're firing less shit at you. Like, you can... Yeah. You can hack one of their big weapons. Like, you could hack their, their missile right away, which would be super awesome. Let's go. Oh, God. I'm going with drones. No. I'm going with drones. Right. It's done. It is done. Oh, There's my God. no going back. Oh, my God. I'm selling this flak. Jesus Christ. What the Not fuck? the flak. Yeah, he's got to fuck that flak. That, the flak's all that matters. Flak all the time. <sighs> Le- uh, Lando, oh. wait, wait, wait. Lando was taken. Thank you for subscribing. We super appreciate it. Have a what the fuck. Oh boy. All right. That was tough. That was tough. I'm sorry. That was tough. They're saying you're killing it. <clears throat> They're saying you're killing I, it. I know I am. Ooh, you can hack the evasion down from 40% to 0%. Like, oh, like if you hack their... I, yeah, but if, if, I, I, if I ion if I ion their uh, piloting, same thing. There you go. Same thing. Same thing. You guys, Rich knows what's up, is basically what's happening. No, oh, no, they're saying you've doomed them all. I don't believe that's true. You're all doomed. doomed. <laughs> that was a reference to both. Friday the 13th, and Cannibal Musical. You know, I've never seen Cannibal Musical. It's funny. Uh, It's rough around the edges. It was clearly made by film students, but it's got a lot of good jokes in it. I would believe that. I would believe all those things you say. And really catchy songs. Mm. I would also believe that. (laughs) Okay, you're you're getting some... That was a good call. Drones rule. From the chat. <laughs> Lando was taken. <clears throat> she knocked on the door, asking to borrow some sugar. I thought of the fresh bag in the pantry and my stern disdain for beggars. I wasn't listening, so I missed that one. Oh, I'm sorry. 
<laughs> she knocked on the door, asking to borrow some sugar. I thought of the fresh bag in the pantry and my stern disdain for beggars. <laughs> that's all right. I liked that. One. It's okay. Let's take this in a new direction. That's true. You guys know that Waka Flame was arrested? Did I tell you guys this already? Who, who's Waka Flame? What? Yeah, I don't know what that means. Oh, yeah, God. what is... Who is that? What is this thing you were saying? Who is that and why was he arrested? Uh, hello. Well, he was arrested for having a gun, I think. <laughs> but, um, he's hip hop artist. Oh, okay. Is he yeah. part of a group or is he no. just him? It's him. He has, he, he has a crew, but it's him. Okay. Yeah. No, I don't know who that is. Is he good? Uh, I mean. <laughs> there's there's one song that I find fun. Uh, okay. Um, but that's both. Is it called Turn Down for What? No. <laughs> <laughs> I, enjoy, I enjoy that music video. <laughs> I don't like Waka Flocka Flame. I'm just saying, it, this is like current news, guys. So I'm just saying. I, I, I Don't be disappointed in me for, I like Kanye West. Jay. I won't <laughs> deny that. Jay. Jessie's just saying. I'm just, just saying. saying. She, she's just saying, everybody. She's just saying. First Elizabeth Pena, now this. Now Waka Flocka. Now Waka Flocka. I know. Now Waka Flocka Seagulls. <laughs> That's that's just how the world works. Is he sometimes. like I don't know who he is, but that doesn't mean much. Is he a larger? Is he a more well known? Um, uh, rapper. I, oh, people know who he is. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, his lyrics are pretty brutal. I think that uh, whoever mixed his album th didn't quite do it very well. Okay. Um, the music is a lot is too loud sometimes. Uh, like the beats are too loud sure. sometimes. But um, I gave a listen. You know. By the way, that is current news. This is something that might, this is something that might uh, be interesting, that Rich might be interested to talk about. Yeah. Current uh, news just broke about Captain America three. Oh. Oh, isn't Iron Man gonna be in it? Yeah. Iron Man is gonna be in it. So the speculation is that it's going to be civil war. Wait, is that speculation or confirmed? It's confirmed that he's gonna be in it. it, it Iron Man is gonna be in Captain America three. I be, the speculation, quasi confirmed, is that it's gonna be civil war. The only problem is, so civil war was this really fantastic run in Marvel Comics in which Iron Man... Fantastic is a strong... Word. I liked it. Good. I thought it was fantastic. It The concept is it, neat. It ended with a whimper. <laughs> the concept is neat. I, I, the actual book itself, it was fine. It, it, it. <laughs> Captain America wanted to basically do the, the superhero registration program in which all superheroes... Captain needed... America did not want to do that. Did I say Iron that? Man wanted to do that. I apologize, I misspoke. <laughs> Iron Man. Wanted Rich got to... very upset that you got that minor detail. On. Well, I guess it's not a minor detail, but it's it's a huge detail. I misspoke. Okay. I, I I know who is on whose side. Sure. Iron Man wanted the superhero registration program, okay. in which all superheroes needed to disclose their real identities uh, and work kind of under the Shield branch or the government branch, so they could be regulated. Okay. And Captain America. And he he. I'm assuming he didn't see this as being a big deal because he outed himself. Exactly. And so I was like, who cares? So because to him, it's who cares. Yeah. Okay. Jack, we're replacing an NG. Oh I my need, god. I, I, I need a name. No. Um, we're gonna we're gonna see who says me first. Actually, I probably should. have... Ah, well, I replaced the wrong character. But okay. oh, I'm a name. Says. Oh my god. Says M F. I L I, any capitals here or uh, capital M? But okay. M -M. M F I L I P P O P P O Bruno. Separate name, Bruno. Same name. Same name. Bruno. Yeah, there you go. So you know, and obviously it caused a civil war. Some okay. superheroes were okay with this, some were not, and you know, two factions fought against each other. It was really great. <laughs> Spider Man came out. And revealed himself. It was a whole big thing, which was a sham. Which was a sham, absolutely. But this is why I said it ended with a whimper. Okay. Because because uh, after it was all over, it the universe reset itself. They just rebooted it. Yeah. It's all fine. Um, in any case, the only problem with Civil War in the Marvel Cinematic Universe, they don't have any of the big heroes that are unnamed. They don't have Spider-Man. Yeah. 
They don't have any of the mutants that would be affected sure. by it. They might have Daredevil. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, for the have, movie? Yeah, have... that's why I don't think they're going to do Civil War. Right. They can't do it for... because they have Daredevil, but it's a there's, there's two There's two things with, with Civil War and, and the new Captain America. For one, not enough heroes for the identity thing to really be an issue. Not in the cinematic universe. Yes, not in the cinematic universe. And also, when I think of the Marvel movies, mm -hmm. they're fun to watch. Mm -hmm. Civil War is just kind of depressing. <laughs> yeah, but you, what, what do you, what you, what you do? You do, you do Civil do. War, and then everybody just hates each other, and yeah. then they gotta make another fucking movie after that. I'm, I'm against it for well, that reason. They, I want to have fun when I'm watching a Marvel <laughs> superhero movie. And it would be kind of a retread of Captain America Two, where you know it was the whole you know oh, yeah. safety over privacy kind yeah, of thing. Yeah. So I don't know if they are. I thought that was done well in that movie. It was done very well. Yeah. Um, is so the speculation only stems from the fact that Iron Man is going to be it? Yes. Okay. And that was their big. Well, here's the thing. What? Don't get worked up about it. Don't worry about it because you don't know. That's true. Who cares? We'll see what happens when the movie comes <laughs> out. Look at, this. Look at this. Oh my God! You got hacking. Somebody asked me if, if uh, Jesse, do you ever wish you made other friends? <laughs> Check out. <laughs> I got you. Because clearly, <laughs> the only people that they know that you know is us. Right. So yeah. that's the only friends you have. Well, yeah. Well. And yeah. and also, <laughs> right now your friends are playing a video game and talking about talking comic about books. books. Marvel yeah. movies. Yeah. And I'm I the only one that brought up like okay. a rap yeah. a hip -hop artist. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. That's right. <laughs> I do have other friends. I feel that way about the fact that I don't have any friends that are into horror films the way I am. I yeah, don't know, I, I don't, don't know, know what to geek out about horror movies. I don't know if anyone is into horror films like you are. That's not true. There are people that are <laughs> way more into it than I am. But there are yeah. things that I find, like when the Rob Zombie remake was coming out and it was announced that Daniel Harris was cast in the movie. I couldn't say why that was interesting. No one would know what I'm talking about. Right. Daniel Harris was the little girl in Halloween 4 and 5. It's like, oh, and she's coming back to the franchise. <laughs> That's me. That is me. I can't explain that to anybody or they'll have any clue what I'm talking about. You could explain it kind of like that and then they would... Yeah, but they don't, you don't care. I can tell you that, and you'd be like, oh, I understand that. But. I understand that, and I can see how that's cool. Did she come back as the same character? No. 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 It's a, it is a rebooted franchise, so it's not the same character. Oh, then I care about the <laughs> and, and it really doesn't matter, because the Rob Zombie movie's not very good. Whatever. <laughs> you just want someone to geek out about it with. Well, this was before the movie came out. Sure. I was like, oh, Daniel Harris, that's an interesting casting. Oh, someone is saying they confirmed Civil War is happening. Oh. But remember, it's just the Civil War concept that needed the registration for them. Some sort of Civil War is happening. Mm. Mm, I don't know. It'll take elements they from still, the comic and either, do something different with it. Either way you slice it, they basically just have the Avengers. Yeah. The Avengers fighting each other isn't that interesting. And everyone already knows who the Avengers are, so there's no well, registration. But by the time this movie comes out, how many other movies will exist sure. in this universe? They'll have lots of new shit. They'll have non-mutant uh, Quicksilver and Scarlet Witch, who they can't legally call mutants. Oh, really? Even though they're mutants. <laughs> yeah. They, they can't legally call, they can't them call them mutants. The That's so mutants weird. The word mutant is part of the X-Men. I, I know that, yeah. but like they... But they don't own the rights to the word mutant. Mutant as related to superhuman, you know, blah, 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 however they were. Yeah. They cannot call them mutants. Oh, that's interesting. And they can't say that their father is Magneto, which is a huge part of their real story, which yeah. they're now, now they were made by Nazis or whatever. Sure. So they can use the characters. Somehow they, <laughs> they are able to use the characters, but they can't use any of the specifics. Yeah. Okay. They can't use their backstories or the, call them the mutants. The <laughs> characters are part of, I'm assuming they're part of the Avengers franchise, yes. but their backstories all involve things that are part of the sure. sure. X-Men franchise. Well, Quicksilver was already in the last X-Men movie, but now we're going to have a different Quicksilver. Yeah, I don't know, yes. I don't know how, how do the rights work out with that, that they could do that? It's like, rights are so, it's a bit confusing mess when it comes to that shit. Yeah, that's really true. <laughs> Okay, there's a, there's another uh, good Dick uh, Neutral. Oh, is there? Yeah. Uh, this uh, Thesla boat? No. Nope. Dick Neutral no, is so one. 20 minutes Oh, the one. commander? Yeah. 
<laughs> she leaned up to my ear. I could feel the heat of her red lips. Slowly, she whispered, I want to come. I asked her, where? I like that. <laughs> I like that. This is a good one, too. She sat down in front of me and said, I need a hard man for a hard job. Is that you? And I said, how did you get in my house? <laughs> <laughs> that works. I was going to yeah. say, a, a more blunt one would be, and I said, no. <laughs> That's a different type of joke, though. Yeah, absolutely. And, and one that most people would not find funny. Yeah. Unless they're mean. <laughs> oh, someone is saying, according to a nebulous them... Joss Whedon and Zack Snyder came to an agreement. Wait, Zack Snyder, Zack Snyder didn't has have nothing any... to do with this. You're full of shit. You're full of shit. That. According to them, who? According to them, about what? This is nonsense. Ah, blah, 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 blah. Ignore it. Wham. <laughs> Wag. Wag. Oh, that's true. Uh, <laughs> Fart Barter 420 uh, wants me to bring up the recent. Uh, there's a there's a mobile phone game called Candy Crush. Oh yes, yeah, the so Candy Crush right. Saga. Yeah. And so they ha have been trying to trademark things like candy, in like the word candy in the title of a video game they trademarked. Oh god. The word saga, and so that game we did for the show, the Banner Saga about yeah. Vikings, got sued by Candy Crush Saga. Oh, that's bullshit. Because it had the word saga in the title. That is complete bullshit. Yes. I've heard of things like, uh, like, someone, is it Marvel or DC, technically owns the word superhero? I believe that's DC? D that is DC? Okay, I've heard that before. I hope the ship doesn't burn to death with my crew on it. Oh my god, get him back. I, I, it's cooling down, I keep getting ioned. There oh, we go, there sure. we go. I keep getting ioned. Did you meet, <sighs> did you win him? Yeah. Oh, good. Oh, good. And I know the uh, the movie, the 80s movie Night of the Demons, the original title for it was going to be Halloween Party, because it's about a Halloween party. Sure. And the, the producers of the Halloween series, Michael Myers series, mm -hmm. threatened to sue them. That kind of makes sense, though. No, but Halloween I'll, is a holiday. I was just, that was going to be my counter argument. But, mm -hmm. like, if you think about Halloween in the sense of a movie, you think about Halloween. I guess. That just seems kind of shitty to me. But, at the same time, they called their movie a holiday. Yeah, exactly. Like, but, uh, It makes sense, though. Uh, I'm <laughs> bullshit. <laughs> I'm actually, in that case, it worked out because Night of the Demons is a better title. Yeah. <laughs> So ignore everything I just said. <laughs> uh, the real Quaid. Uh, what the fuck? Wants, uh, to remind us all that Lucasfilm owns the word droid. Oh, okay. Which is a true thing. Yeah, I forgot about that. It's a true thing, which is just weird. Yeah. Well, I think it made the word droid. I don't think it just picked the word droid. They just—that's like short for android. It's short for android. Yeah. But I, I don't—I don't know if anybody ever used droid. droid was not used before Star Wars. I don't think so. But I, I'm, you know, I've been wrong plenty of times. That's a, that's a good question. That's a good question. Uh, yeah. Oh hey, fleshy patch. <laughs> <laughs> Let that one sink in. Thank you for subscribing. We super appreciate it. And your name is funny to say. Mm -hmm. So thank you for that. You will, well, yes, Ootsby, no one owns words. They have trademarks in respect uh, of resp of specific business usages. Yes. Yes. Thank you for pointing that out. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> and Jack Burton, 87. Hey, nice name. Do you get that reference, Jack? I don't. It's Big Trouble in Little China. Yeah. It has been ages since I've seen them. You need your oh voice. my god! I do. I that was me. Do. Yeah, that was a real. Oh my god! <laughs> that was... Holy shit! You need to rewatch Big Trouble in Little China. Absolutely. I remember it. Maybe being we should fantastic. have a Big Trouble in Little China night. Yeah. Oh, okay. Absolutely. We'll do it here. That sounds great. Fuck! Oh my god, Rich. Oh, you're not in terrible trouble. No, but I'm annoyed. Anyway, oh, did they subscribe? They did subscribe. Oh, oh yes, Jack Burton 87 <laughs> Thank you for subscribing. I got distracted by just wanting to talk about Big Trouble in Little China. We super appreciate it, and Jay really appreciates your name. <laughs> it made him think about a great movie. <laughs> I love that 
That was one I saw later, too. Like, a lot of people talk about how they grew up on that movie and they watched it a lot as a kid. Mm -hmm. I never saw it as a kid. I didn't see it until I was well into my 20s. Oh, my God. Face-eating cutie pie. That's too much. That's too much dick neutral. I'm sorry. <laughs> he had a whole story. He's like a paragraph. Oh, no. no. Yeah. I might just give up on this guy. It's not worth the trouble. What guy? Oh, the ship? Yeah. Oh, my what God. What the He's fuck? Is this uh, is this foreshadowing to the final boss, or what's, uh, we'll why, see. Is, why is he fighting so hard? He's got those stupid drones that shoot your attacks. He's got two of them. Oh, and some of the drones shoot your lasers now. Yeah. Yeah, those are tough. <laughs> Mark Supiel, thank you for subscribing. We super appreciate it. Mark Supiel. That's kind of funny. That is. Yeah, good. I like that name. Also, thank you, OctoJ, for also thanking the subscribers, because I see your name more often than I see theirs. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, uh What? Uh, mm. <coughs> uh. <coughs> nope. Nothing's, nothing's getting through. This is infuriating. Yeah, well, let's get out of there. So is the word alien copyrighted for movie titles? That might be um, too generic. That's, I think that's too... Uh, there are movies with alien in the title. What's another so movie I think that's alien too generic. Um, in the title. No, I'm not going to be able to make my, one, but... My stepmom's, my stepmom's an alien. There's one. Um, shit. I know there are ones. I can't think of any off the top of my head. But I think that's probably too generic. Probably. Because Halloween is like, it's a horror movie about Halloween, so if you're making another horror movie with Halloween in the title, I can kind of understand where they would think there'd be some confusion, but sure. I don't know. So, oh, Alien Seed. That's a great... <laughs> there Alien <you> Seed. <laughs> there you go. I don't think they were thinking about anything when they made Alien Seed. Uh, you probably, you know, it is, it's probably against copyright to call your movie Alien. Alien. Yes, of course. Yeah. But you can mo use the word Alien in your title. I would think. Yeah. Aliens, see, that's right. <laughs> or they're saying, duh, aliens. <laughs> <laughs> a totally unrelated movie called Aliens. <laughs> kind of. It is sort of unrelated in a lot of ways. Mm. Tonally. Tonally. Tonally is one of those ways. Can I, uh, uh, Animist Primal is wondering if he can use the name Mr. Plinkett and shit. Um. No. No. No, probably not. <laughs> oh, no, I, I think he was asking, like, the legal ramifications. Yeah. Probably not. Specifically, if your character is similar to that of the movie reviewing Mr. Plinkett, then definitely not. <laughs> Also, just, just don't. Just don't. Just don't. We'd appreciate it. <laughs> <sighs> that was a tough one. What the oh, fuck? Oh no, he says, fuck you guys, I'll do it anyway. Ah, no! You got us! You got <laughs> Damn it. Then why did you even ask? <laughs> don't ask when you're just gonna do something anyways. Right. That just makes you meaner. <laughs> Oh, hey, KRB Slug. Thank you for subscribing. We legitimately appreciate it. I know I say we appreciate it a lot, but I, we really do all the time. I don't want my words of appreciation to lose their value. Okay. KRB makes me think of WKRB in Cincinnati. Oh, yeah. Remember that show? Yeah. Was that a good show? I, I have no... I, I know I watched it, but I was so little, I don't remember I much. watched it too. I don't remember if it was good. I just know that it was a show. Yeah. Yeah. The opening was good. I, I the don't song? Even, I don't even remember the theme song. Yeah. I'm not going to sing it right now. But <laughs> I do know it. Who was on that show? Ugh. Was there anyone that... WKRB in Cincinnati? Yeah. Yeah, that was um, the lady from... Uh... That's one of those shows where I can't remember a single thing about it, but if I watched 
like a clip of it on YouTube, it would all come back. The lady from the Dick Van Dyke show. Wasn't she on WKRB in Cincinnati? I don't know who the lady from the Dick Van Dyke show was. But She's a famous lady. I did not watch that show. You did not watch the Dick Van Dyke show? No, that was before my time. Well, reruns. No, I didn't even watch the reruns. I mean, I know me, that it me was neither. a show. So. You didn't watch Dick Van Dyke? No, Mary I didn't Tyler watch Moore? the Dick Van Dyke show. Dick Van Dyke show. Mary Tyler Moore. She was, she was not WKRP. on WKRP. No, the Dick Van Dyke show. Yeah. Yeah. No, but he's saying the lady from the Dick Van Dyke show was on WKRB, which is Mary Tyler Moore, but she was not on WKRB. No, no. Pamela oh. Anderson. I'm not Pamela Anderson. Uh, what, was Bonnie. what was her Bonnie name? Anderson. What was her Bonnie name? What was her name? Bonnie Anderson. Bonnie Anderson. Pamela Pamela Anderson. Anderson. Thank Anderson you. Anderson was on WKRB, I yeah. think. Maybe that. Okay. Yeah, they're agreeing with you. She, she would not. totally be played by Pam Anderson, though, if there were a remake. Not now. Not now. <laughs> <That's really laughs> <in the 90s. laughs> I guess, I guess you're I haven't seen a picture of Pam Anderson in, like, ten years, so. Mm. How old is she now? I don't know. 80? Pam Anderson? 85? <laughs> oh, Pam Anderson She's is, not a, 80. is a horrible beast of a lady. Is she? She can't be shown in certain lights because then people will see what she really looks like. That's what I heard. Oh, you know who you heard that from? I heard that from Jack You heard Packard. that from me. Oh yeah. my god. We shot with her for one of our videos. Oh, that's right. In the high five video, In the, right? in the high five um, my Super Bowl. So video. you've met her. I have met her. She was horrible. <laughs> <laughs> so we, uh, our producer talks to her people. Okay. And and they're like, we we need to, you know, we want, would like to set this up. And she was like, you can. I have five minutes to shoot this in my hotel room between, you know, this what time from this time. And in order to shoot with me, you need to have a ring light. Oh my god. Because it's those those special ring lights that yeah. illuminate the all around your face, so no wrinkles show. Oh sure. Um, in which our producer did what all producers uh, did and said, absolutely we have a ring light. That's no problem. We did not have a ring light. Um, and so we get there and we kind of like rig our own like awful four-sided, like we're holding lights. Oh my God. And she was late, very late yeah. to meet with us. I want to say she her was- her own like, hotel room. That, she was, well, she wasn't late. That's the thing. She told us to come to her hotel at a specific time. Mm -hmm. She was up in her hotel, but she would not have us up for like an hour and a half. Okay. When we got up there, she was just drunk and walking around. <laughs> Should you be saying these things? He doesn't give a fuck. He doesn't care. It was... Enough time has passed okay. that he can talk about it now. I'm very worried that my Pam Anderson story is going to get out. <laughs> hey, guys. Everybody listening to the chat? This is all a joke. D don't let Pam Anderson get a hold of this information. <laughs> I don't care. Well, if you don't care, then you can continue. Okay. That was it. No, well, you know, so so we, we set up our, our, light, our janky-ass lighting rig, and... She doesn't even, like, one of her helpers, one of her handlers is there and go, is that, is that a ring light? <laughs> and we're like, well, it's like a ring light. It's, fine, it's, it's fine. lights, kind of, in a circle. Exactly. Yeah. It's lights in a square. It'll work. It'll work just the same. She didn't care. So maybe, maybe I didn't like her. Maybe it was her handler who was oh, being an asshole. Sure. So maybe that's it. Okay. You know what? I'll pull back. All right. Perhaps it was Pam Anderson's handler. Damn it! Okay. Who was being a, an incredible asshat. Yeah. Right. Someone on their side was being an incredible asset, making us wait a very long time. Yeah. And the, it's not like they were doing anything. <laughs> they were just up in their hotel room drinking. <laughs> okay. Octo, maybe maybe she's doing Joy, her makeup or something. Who knows? Octo J points out a good. Uh, he makes a good point. Just what? say allegedly. 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 Before this is anything. All allegedly. Yeah. Hand handlers is a normal thing you say. Except it's not allegedly, it actually happened. <laughs> it happened to me. I don't know who's to blame. It, okay. She might not be to blame, I sure. guess, is what I will say. That's fair enough. Handlers is like what you call like her manager or whoever's helping them. Sure. Bigger celebrities have like assistants. Yeah. They have people to talk to. They have managers, they have publicists, yeah. they have uh, assistants, yeah. they have yeah, all sorts of people. And you call them handlers. That's what we call them. Yeah. Um, so... Someone on her end was fucking us around. Okay. And um, someone wants to know if you, Jack, yeah. have a Yasmin Bleeth story instead. <laughs> I apologize, but I don't. <laughs> and so we no, nobody's had a Yasmin Bleeth story <laughs> since 1999. <laughs> I but, but you finish your story. I do have a Yasmin Bleeth story. Uh, no, you don't. No, not a personal one. Fuck. 
Um, I moved back. I moved back a couple inches, and I got the webs again on. Oh, I'm sorry. So we get up there, and you know, we try to come up with a bit with her, and usually, you know, we just we get to a location and feel out the location to see how we can best get the guys to do the high five with the celebrity, right? Yeah. And it's we always try to be as quick as possible. We get in there, and it, in her very, rather large hotel room, there is kind of an entrance area. Mm -hmm. And then there's like a living room area, and then off of the living room area, there's doors to presumably like bedrooms and, and bathrooms. Okay. She would not, or her handlers, she or her handlers would not <coughs> let us past the entrance area. I remember that from a video. I remember she's like right in that front entrance area. I want to. I want to ask the chat a quick question. Do I go with full shields? <laughs> full shields or full engines? I'm, I'm sorry, sorry, Jack. I'm sorry, are you interrupting my Pam Anderson story to play your game? I know I am. <laughs> That's fine. That's fine. Full shields or full engines? Full shields or full engines, Chad? This is an important question. So important. Oh, shields is the first. Shields. Shields. Everyone's saying shields. Okay. Shields. We got, we got four shield shields. I'll, I'll take it. Okay. I'll take it. Um, Pam could be in the living room. But we could not step through the living room. Okay. So we had an incredibly limited space to shoot our bit in. And we're like, oh, you know what? Maybe like the guys could get on the other side of the, the couch and like pop up or something. And they're like, no, you cannot go in. And you know, like someone's bedroom, sure. Like yeah. where someone holds their clothes, where they sleep. Oh, sure. That's complete. This was a place with a couch and a TV. You didn't ask them. to use the bathroom. We did not ask yes, to use the bathroom. Exactly. You know, like. On a similar note, we shot with Jack Black, mm -hmm. and he let us get into his bed. Oh yeah, they're like tickling him. They're or like something, tickling right? him in bed. Yeah. And because we came up with this little tickle joke, and we're like, well, it would be funny if they're tickling you. And all of a sudden, he goes, "You guys want to do it in the bed, don't you?" <laughs> and we're like, "What?" And he's like, "You want to tickle me in bed, and we'll put the sheets over our head." And we're like, "No, but that sounds funny." And so like that was that was his addition to the bit. He invited us in. To make the thing funnier. Well, you know. Different. <laughs> different strokes, my friend. I'm assuming, I'm assuming he's not as concerned about his appearance as someone like a Pam Anderson. Sure. Sure. But what about, um... What? But, like, another... I can't... I don't want to say any names. Uh. Unless it's okay with you. What, what name are we saying? <laughs> it starts with an S. Hold, hold on. <laughs> <laughs> this has gotten way too complicated. It starts with an S. Stevie Nicks? Stevie, am I Stevie Remember when you shot with Stevie Nicks? Wait, did you One turn time. the chat off? No, I didn't turn the chat oh, off. I can't. Damn. Rich has the mouse. Um, mouth it to me. Or write it down. I'll just text, text you. Text message me the story you want me to tell, and I'll tell you whether or not I can tell. Well, because it's it's another lady, so then, you know, it makes more sure. sense. Sure. Um, Is it, uh, what was it like uh, working with uh, the famous Bob Turton? Uh, you mean famous actor Bob Turton? Yes. Uh, he is always a pleasure, and always gives, almost always gives 110%. When is he not given 110%? In the very beginning, he was, we, so Bobby Turton, who is uh, one of the guys in the High Five videos who I love to death and is forever a best friend of mine. We did it one of our first... I texted you. Thank you. Oh, oh we can talk about it. We okay. can talk about Shakira anytime you want. Oh, okay. <laughs> Shakira was lovely. Um, <laughs> Bob Turpin, the, the big high... F we did the first High Five in my cousin Jake's mom's backyard in, yeah. here in Milwaukee. Not a big deal. Right. Bob Turpin drove up from Chicago to do it. The next one we got was High Five Hollywood. Yeah. In which Funny or Die flew us out to Los Angeles so we could shoot with celebrities and famous Hollywood landmarks, right? Uh, it was actually one of the... It was very early on in the days of, of uh, getting celebrities in web videos. This was before celebrities knew it was okay to be in web videos, and so the biggest challenge was convincing them to... Anyway, it doesn't, doesn't matter. That doesn't matter. We're talking about Bob Turton, famous actor Bob Turton. Yeah. One of the bits we wanted to do was Bob getting a spray tan. Oh, yeah. If you remember in the video, is Bob is getting this spray tan, and he happened, because that's an LA thing, right? Like mm -hmm. being tan. We wanted Bob to wear 
tighties or like a thong. We wanted him to wear skimpy underpants because that would be funny. Yeah. Um, uh, someone else wanted him to wear what is referred to as a cock sock. Oh, sure. Which is what men actually wear in there, which is literally like a bag to put your cock and balls in. Mm -hmm. And that looked too weird. Sure. But we wanted him to wear tighties. And we were like, that would be really funny if you're wearing tighty whities and she gives you the spray tan. He refused. Okay. And he just rolled up his boxers. Okay. I can understand as someone who's a working actor yeah. and being concerned about their image. In that case, I can understand. If that's not what he's going for. You just wanted him to wear that. I mean... <laughs> just say what you're trying to... I mean... His character, they have characters. In okay. The high his character is the more is the vain one is is the usually the dressed upper one. Mm, like, yeah. It would make sense that he had on tighties. Okay. He didn't want to do it because yeah, because if if I asked him to do the same thing now, he would go full nude. Oh really? Because he's committed now. He no he. Oh okay. You know. So it wasn't a that's not the image I want out there on the internet or anything like that. It could have been that, but you know, may, maybe he's, he's changed. Times change. He's People grown change. now, and he uh, was well, you know, and we've worked together a bunch since then. So sure. he would he would trust me a lot more to make to help him make that call. But okay. Bob Turton always gives one hundred and ten percent. He's great. Now, mm -hmm. um, I, so Jesse was asking me about Shakira stories. <laughs> <laughs> that that was the lady to be unnamed. In case I had any bad stories, and I don't. She was lovely. Well, no, but that's what I mean. Like, there's a difference between someone like a Pam Anderson type, yeah, who is concerned with, you know, how she looks and stuff like that, and then you have someone like Shakira who is totally cool about yeah. all that. So not only was she, was it was she, kind of like just a comparison. Shakira was totally cool. Like, she gave us her time, and she literally only had a couple minutes. Like. We were down in Africa and we were making this video to raise money and awareness for schools in South Africa. Which was, and Shakira was part of that charity organization. So one, she's awesome. She's trying to get children in Africa educated and I think that's great. Um, she gave us all the time she had. <laughs> we, we were at this school shooting uh, with these kids at the school. She showed up for a couple minutes. She was just taking a tour of all the schools that her organization had help, helped set up. And this was one of her stops. We had her for five minutes in between signing autographs and saying hi to people. And Shakira is big here, but in other countries like Africa, Shakira is godlike, you know. Uh, she still took time, did it in one take, nailed it. Just, you know, Shakira was great. Yeah. Also, rather short. She's a tiny lady. Tiny, tiny lady. Yeah. So. You guys want to talk about Richard Karn? I fucking talk about Richard Karn all day. <laughs> <laughs> mm. We did. We shot with Richard Karn for one of the bowling videos. I wanted to shoot with more with Richard Karn. Uh, oh, you know what I'll say about Richard Karn? He did not want to wear a plaid shirt. Why not? Because he was just in a different video wearing a plaid shirt and that video was going to be uh, released around the same time and he's like I just did a plaid shirt bit so I don't want to you know because obviously Al Borland he did the plaid shirt so he's like I just did a plaid shirt bit I won't do a plaid shirt bit but he did bring his own bowling shirt oh well that's nice for the bowling bit yeah so prepared man he after we shot we just hung out for a little bit and chatted he was really nice really yeah that's really cool Richard what Carr. the fuck Jack, I'm, I'm doing it. Are you? Oh my god, you're, I didn't even know you were on the final boss. Yeah, you were too busy telling stories about stupid ass celebrities. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, Rich. Oh, is everybody in the crew compartment dead? Oh no. In the main, the main area? No, no, for them. That's excellent. Yeah, but if you kill the entire crew. <laughs> fucking, I'm gonna leave one alive. Oh, great. Hey, Owen McGarrel. Thank you for subscribing. I super appreciate it. You guys can take five. <laughs> oh, you totally got it. We're this. killing him. And you're on normal difficulty. Yeah. Yeah, this is normal. This, this is, is not, not easy. This is not easy. Oh, wait, I'm gonna tone that down until my guys are out of there. You can do this. 
for certain definition of celebrities. What? Richard Elvis Elvis Richard Karn is a nice man. I'm glad I'm glad you got to meet him. <laughs> Ooh, the Martha Washington. I do have a great Smash Mouth story. It goes, um, somebody once told me. No, <laughs> no. Nope. Rich isn't even listening because he's too busy being boss at FTL. No, nobody's ever done this well on normal. Only Rich. I'm sure other people have done. It. Have you played hard at all? No, I'm frightened of. <laughs> <laughs> Phase one down! Easy All right. easy. Easy peasy. That was tactically just brilliant. Yeah. Yeah, I hacked I hacked their 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 med bay. Uh -huh. And then I, I sent my manses over and then whenever they would get to La Hope, they'd run to the med bay. Uh -huh. Then when they ran in the med bay, I'd turn on the hacking and that would actually kill them. Nice. Yes! That's great. That's great. Tactics, my friend. <laughs> it's a shame they can't see my finger waggle when I say that, but tactics, my friend. <laughs> nice. All right, all right, all right. What's next? What's next? They're just noticing that you took no damage no. during the first yes. stage of the boss battle. All right, all right, all right. Tip for people at home? Yeah, give a tip. Your, your first target on that ship is always that fucking middle launcher. Okay. Okay? The, the missile launcher will kill you. It, it shoots out it's, three missiles at a time. It's, it's the They weapon. go straight through your shields, and I, they do like two or three damage for each fucking hit. Yeah. So it's the... The second this, in from the right. The second from the right. Yeah. And I always beam guys in there, kill that fucker, take that weapon down as quick as I can. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. That's good to know. Great. The middle launcher. <laughs> the middle missile it, launcher. It is. It's the middle finger to your ship. It really is. Well, it's the, it, well it depends on which hand. No, I mean like like oh, this, Jack. Oh, yeah, I Like know the insulting that. gesture. Well, I'm just saying, if you guys look at the ship now, it's the second I'm, one. I'm about to be my mantises right. right back into there. Good. Here, right, good. right here. Right there. Um, John Kilo asked what... Who is the biggest celebrity I've ever worked with? Two names come to mind. One, now you're gonna say Tupac, and I was like, what? One is gonna be a fat joke, though. Uh, John Goodman. So. No, you should be ashamed. Of I should be ashamed of myself. More so because John Goodman was great. And yeah, he was a trooper, right? He not only was a trooper, he came to, we were in LA shooting the, the celebrity bowling video and that, we asked him to be in it and he said, one, he said yes, which, I mean, fucking John Goodman. Yeah. And then he just came to a buddy's house, he would, he told us bowling stories and, and chatted with us and was into our bit. That's awesome. John Goodman was awesome to work with. Uh, and then Will Ferrell. Yeah. I mean, he's pretty big. Yeah. So, and... The first time I met him, he had seen the first high five video, and we were we went on the set of Step Brothers that he was filming at the time, and he knew we were coming Wait, to shoot his. Don't dinner. tell the bad part about John C. Riley. I don't like anyone talking ill of John C. Riley. I have to, There's no bad part of anything. I thought that you there's no but there's no okay, bad part good. of anything. Good. Um, I heard a story. You heard that from someone else. Uh, okay. I didn't like that. He, no, he came in to the area we were in, Will, yeah. and was singing the song from the first High Five video. And we hung out and chatted with him for a while. I've worked with him a few more times since then. And he is just, in general, a really good guy. Oh. We were, we did a, a, I was on a commercial shoot with him. And it was a very guerrilla shoot. And after the shoot, all the crew and him and the director and everyone kind of <laughs> there, and we were watching the day's footage and just like everyone else he sat down and just watched all the day's footage and laughed at all the jokes and like started working out new jokes for the next day and just so not only the most professional man ever but just liked to hang out and laugh and do bits awesome. he's the man who likes to do bits so it That's was fun. great 
Yes. And um, so besides John Goodman and Will Ferrell, the biggest celebrity I've ever worked with is Rich Evans. Yeah. Can I just tell you, when you worked with John Goodman, you really blew the opportunity to have a big Lebowski reference. It was a bowling video. The fact that he's in the video is a... Is a... How's that a big Lebowski reference? He's done so many things unrelated to bowling and big Lebowski. We could... We, we brought up the idea with him to put him in an outfit. Yeah. A Walter? Walter. Walter Sobchak. A we... We brought up the idea with him to put him in a Walter outfit, and he was hesitant. Okay, I can understand. That. Yeah. And so we did not push it. Okay. Um, even just a line or something. I don't know. Market zero. <laughs> um, you know, we we took his. He was. He doesn't do anything, right? Doesn't he just stand there? No, he's he makes the strike. Oh, does he? I don't remember. He he bo- he bounces it up to Nick, who then who then like kind of alley oops it, down. bats okay. it down. Okay. He, he's a big part of it, right. and he helped work out like the physics of it. Like he okay. was like placing the, the the trampoline and everything. No, he was he was a good part of it. I don't know who John O'Reilly is. I know who John C. Riley is. Damn. <laughs> And I'm still not telling you. Uh, <laughs> we uh, we took his hesitation for the Walter bit to mean that he just did not <laughs> want to reference it. Okay. In general. I guess I can understand. That. So that was that was his thing. Like we were sure, just sure. We, he he came out to our buddy's house and shot this <laughs> thing like. We'll do whatever you want. I, yeah, I guess the fact that John Goodman agreed to, to be involved with it is a triumph man, enough. So John Goodman is in a bowling trick shot video. Yeah, yeah. Let's just call that a win. Sure. So I guess fuck you. Okay. Is what I'm gonna say. Fair enough. <laughs> we were, you know, like with with every celebrity, we were very aware of like making sure people knew who they were. Yeah, you know that's that's a general concern in any of the videos that we do because it's so quick. Yeah, and so there like, was one. It, well, it would have had to been that one yeah. where I didn't recognize who it was, and I don't remember what, who that was. There's a couple. There was a couple. It might just be my ignorance on who the person is to begin with, but and there were I can't couple, remember who. A couple names that were like, you know, people might not recognize Jason Manzukis. Oh yeah, I did recognize him, um, but you, I can see a lot of people. You might not recognize Damon Wayans Jr. He, we That's didn't get the one. A, we didn't I get didn't a close know who up he was, well, but I, I don't know. I didn't know who he was at the time. Period. I mean, oh, I yeah. know who he is. You now. know who he is, yeah, yeah. But I didn't know who he was. Damon Wayans Jr. was awesome. He did the one where like he bowled under and Nick bowled over. I don't remember. It was, it was, it was really fun. It, that one took a while to get, and he was a trooper. Yeah. Because you know we always tell people like we're trying to make it quick, but obviously we want to get it, and like we we did a couple, and we knew immediately that it was going to take a while. Mm. And Damon Wayans Jr. We were just like, do you want us to think of a new bit that'll make it easier? And he's like, fuck you, I'm getting. <laughs> we're going to get this. He's and and he just got in the zone where he's like, no, we need to get this shot. So yeah. He was great. <laughs> also, the guy from the other guy who I didn't even know. I still don't know his name. I want to say his name is Jack something. He's in um, Boardwalk Empire. I, I don't watch I've Boardwalk Empire. Show, yeah. um, I don't watch Boardwalk Empire. But he was, was it Steve Buscemi? It was not Steve Buscemi. No. Buscemi? Buscemi. 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 Oh no. Oh no. Was it Paz de la Huerta? <laughs> okay. Definitely. That's not. the only two people I know from that show. I've never watched it. Almost. His name might have been Jack. Just Jack. No, Jack something. Okay. He played, if, if you've ever seen, I've never seen Boardwalk Empire, but, but I've seen um, mocha tracking videos on how they do his makeup because I'm a nerd. Is he the guy who wears like the half mask The thing? half mask. Oh, okay. Thing. Okay. That doesn't tell me with his name, but I know who you're talking about. Now. Yes. Okay. So, whoever that guy is, he, he was, everyone was great. That's good. Everyone was great all the time. <laughs> Even we shot, I felt super bad. Um, the first bowling trick shot video got big because Chris Hardwick tweeted about it. Oh, really? Chris Hardwick, who does the Nerdist. Sure, and he's in the the second one, right? He is. Well, in the in the Hollywood one, yeah. Yeah. Um, that's not a big oh. one. Um, uh, 
we we were really oh Jack Hudson is what they're saying Huston Jack Huston well good for him so it was very important that we get him in the video because he's in LA and you know he helped us out yeah you might uh, want to watch this oh my god are you gonna totally just oh, win fucked him right at the ass <laughs> uh, and we we ran late for him <clears throat> yes good job Rich so I felt really bad we ran late but he was very nice. The USS Fart Barber. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks to the valiant effort of the USS Fart Barber. Did you win the game? Yes. Oh. Rich wins. Rich wins. Kill that shit, Rich. <laughs> oh, yep, they're just seeing it now. <laughs> Yay, right up the pooper. <laughs> started i'm very glad with this with well, that first run yeah, yeah that really first nice. run was just a comedy of errors oh well sometimes that's what you gotta do you just gotta you just gotta start over i found i found found fucking iron weapons and i love iron weapons look <laughs> at all your faces yeah. all the rich faces that's my favorite part <laughs> Score. Oh, that's that's one of my highest ones. Nice. Well, now it's one of my highest ones. Yes, I, I I have your new high score. <laughs> top top that shit, Jack. <laughs> it, just, it will never happen. Only <laughs> second place with the SS Matt Hannon. <laughs> the SS Matt Hannon. Yes. I, I took the SS Matt Hannon on o a, a Octo J has most jumps survived. Ooh, nice. Synth Bird has most repairs. Thank you, Synthburn. Uh, I think Whipbone was from a different run for combat kills. Oh yeah, the yellow is for this run, right? Yeah. Great job. Hey, great job, crew. And then, uh... It's too bad that the SS Smash Mouth didn't make it as far. I got you three unlocked thingamajiggers. Ooh, that's great. Did that, that got us a new ship, too, yeah? Because we got a victory? Oh, sure it did. Um, well, maybe. Well, uh... I go to the hangar. 